All right, so welcome to number two uh, of Mike Drinks a Beer. This is actually take three for this episode. Um, since this is, a, this is a new video series and I'm new to, uh, to uploading videos and doing beer reviews this way entirely, I've had some technological hiccups along the way, which is sort of difficult because once you pour a beer and then if you mess something up, um, it it's sort of messes the whole, the whole flow up. So bear with me as I sort of iron out the kinks in this early stages of, um, of Mike Drinks a Beer. In this episode, uh, I'm drinking New Belgium's Frambozen Raspberry Brown Ale, uh, New Belgium based out of Fort Collins, Colorado, of course. This is a great company. I really enjoy their beers. I haven't ever had anything from them that I thought was just totally gross. Um, even the ones that aren't necessarily the best in the world uh, are just solid go-to beers in their category. And I really, uh, I really strongly support New Belgium. And if you try to interact with them via email or Facebook or Twitter or whatever, they're really friendly folks. So really a solid company all around. Uh, I'm drinking today out of the Vagabond Brewing uh, straight-sided shaker pint glass, uh, another great company. Just got their start uh, out of Kickstarter, actually. I was fortunate enough to be a very, very, very small donor on Kickstarter, and to be sure if I ever end up in Oregon, I'll stop by Salem uh, and visit Vagabond Brewing. Now, you missed the pour because, as I said, I had some technical difficulties this time around. Um, but th you're not, you didn't miss a whole lot, put it that way. It had a pretty good head, but this is what it looks like after taking just a few sips. Um, the head is still there, to be sure. The color on this beer is just gorgeous. This, this really uh, dark, dark red-brown, I guess you could say, um, it's pretty true to life what you can see on the screen and what I'm looking at here in the glass. It's just a really pretty beer to look at. Uh, this beer bills itself as a raspberry brown ale, and what's so interesting is that um, when, you, when you smell it, it's definitely got some of those uh, typical sweet brown ale notes there, but the raspberry is what really comes out. And I think that if someone handed this to me blind and didn't tell me what it was, I would have a really hard time identifying it as a brown ale because the raspberry is so prevalent. Let's do the fun part. It's raspberry through and through. The brown ale uh, almost just totally fades into the background. And you can debate whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I think it's actually a good thing. Um, I'm trying to unload my fridge right now that has all these dark, um, warm beers that you're supposed to drink over the winter months. I didn't get around to doing those long-form reviews because if you, uh, if you go back to episode one of this series, you know that it's really just awkward and not very fun to do those sorts of reviews. So I had all these beers that I had planned to review over the winter, never got around to it, and so now I'm emptying the fridge. And as a result, we're drinking this Frambozen Brown Ale that was released back in um, October of November or something like that uh, last year. And actually, the bottle says that I was supposed to drink this before February 24th of this year. It's now May 16th, so I'm a little bit past that date, but I don't think the beer suffered at all. Let's try it again. I think you could safely hand this beer to somebody who really doesn't like to drink any sort of different uh, or crazy beers as non-beer geeks tend to think of them, and they're going to enjoy it. It's really fruity. Um, it's got just a little bit of um, a little bit of a roasted note going under all of it that tells you that this is beer. Um, just sort of necessary to give it a real body and to make it stand up. But other than that, the raspberry really comes through, and it's just a fantastic, delicious beer. Now, you could drink it on your own, which is something I don't say about every beer that I drink. Uh, you could certainly drink this beer on your own, on its own. You could definitely drink this beer without food. But it would pair well with a variety of foods. Probably lighter stuff would be a little bit better. Typically, you would, you would associate brown ale with heavier dishes, uh, but I think that you could definitely get, get away with this with, you know, uh, sandwiches, uh, fish, chicken, things like that, and it's going to do just fine. This is a really good fruit beer, um, and, and New Belgium's really done something interesting with this beer. I think they've done something really good. Um, you know, with that in mind, I think this is probably a good place to, to cut off. I did forget to add on the episode one of this series, uh, you can follow me on uh, Untapped, the app that uh, you can find on 
uh, certainly on iPhones, that's what I've got, or, or whatever other devices. I tried to use Pintly for a little while, but I just got tired of them not ever having the beers that I was drinking. So now I'm on Untapped. You can find me there. Uh, you can certainly email me. Um, and please, I do want feedback at this point. It's so early on in this project that I don't, I don't really know how anyone's going to react to it. Uh, so I do appreciate any feedback that you might have. Send me an email at mikedrinksabeer at gmail.com. Put stuff down in the comments there. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next time. I also forgot uh, on the first episode to include my standard warning. Uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I love beer. I drink a lot of it. And sometimes I drink a lot of it in one setting. But the number one rule, don't drink and drive. You're going to get hurt. Someone else is going to get hurt. You're going to get killed. Someone else is going to get killed. It's just not worth it. Call a friend. Call a cab. Call a family member. All of those people will be much more happy seeing you home safely um, you know, than you driving home yourself and possibly getting hurt. Don't drink and drive. Beer is delicious, but it can hurt your life. Okay? Um, next time, uh, we'll be dipping into something else from the, uh, the winter fridge that has all this dark beer in it. Uh, but I hope you'll enjoy it anyway. Thanks for joining me.